Hello friends, welcome back to DADME. So here we are continuing with the prelims revision series. This is part 17. Hope you have seen the other 16 parts. So this revision series we are covering science and technology se last one and a half year current affairs. Last one and a half year cover current affairs we are covering 2019 to 2020 August we are covering all the current affairs. Okay. So what you have to do is just make sure you follow your plan and in the meantime when you have time like let's say when you are eating or when you're relaxing at that time just plug in your earphones and listen to these lectures so this will help you to revise everything what you have already read okay here we are making sure that you revise everything in the best possible manner so you also make sure you read all of these things perfectly so that you will not have any trouble in clearing the exam so this lecture mein, हम कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं हमारी आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस रोबोटिक्स और अदर टेक्नोलॉजीज से तो इस लेक्चर में हम कवर करते हैं वर्चुअल ह्यूमन नियॉन के बारे में आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द नेशनल न्यू एंड इमर्जिंग स्ट्रेटजिक टेक्नोलॉजीज आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द जूस जैकिंग वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाइपर लूप द मोबाइल चिपसेट्स फॉर नाविक वी विल टॉक अबाउट द रेडर एक्स व्हिच वाज रिसेंटली देयर इन न्यूज़ एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द सॉफ्टवेयर टेक्नोलॉजी पार्क्स ऑफ इंडिया इन सब कुछ चीजें हम इस लेक्चर में कवर करते हैं तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट वर्चुअल ह्यूमन नियॉन्स क्या है वर्चुअल ह्यूमन नियॉन्स तो दिस डेज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ह्यूमन ऑइड्स एंड एवरीथिंग दैट मींस द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस व्हिच कैन मिमिक ह्यूमंस व्हिच कैन टॉक टू ह्यूमंस व्हिच कैन अंडरस्टैंड ह्यूमंस राइट इवन देयर इमोशंस आल्सो सो दीस आर द टेक्नोलॉजीज व्हाट वी आर वर्किंग टुडे this uh, this neon is similar kind of a, the, is similar similar to that of a humanoid but the difference is that it's a display device that means there will be a screen and a human will be there on this screen so this human will be similar will be similar to that of you like let's say there's a person this human this human who's there on the screen will be similar to that of the person on the screen or similar to that of the original person so this human what he can do is he can learn everything from the human whom he is mimicking he can learn everything from him and he can you know he can replicate that he can talk to him he can understand to him he can understand him basically so this is the project of samsung star labs so it's called the world's first artificial humans why it is called the world's first artificial humans because it directly imitates a particular person it directly understands a particular person it's not a humanoid it's basically a software where the interface will be a device will be a display device the interface will be a display device so this neons are the computationally created virtual humans the word is derived from neo new and human so if there's a question about neon it is developed by samsung star labs it's world's first artificial humans these are computationally created virtual created virtual humans so it's not a humanoid kind it's not a 3d device it's a 2d it's a display device okay oh next the new emerging strategic technologies what is this new emerging strategic technologies so recently there are a lot of issues with regard to 5g and artificial intelligence so india is created is creating this new division called ness new emerging and strategic technologies so this division will be there in the foreign ministry india's foreign ministry where this division will be nodal point for all the new emerging and strategic technologies because we will be importing all of these technologies from various parts of the world so there will be a lot of matters which concern the international forum so in order to deal all of these things in order to make sure that you know we we, we don't take any drastic steps in order to make sure that we deal all of these international technologies in a diplomatic manner we have created this new and start emerging strategic technologies in the foreign ministry division so this will be the nodal point in india's foreign ministry for all matters connected to new and emerging technologies including exchange of views with foreign governments coordination with domestic ministries and all okay so why this is important because recently we have seen the fuss created with huawei so huawei is a chinese company so us has banned this huawei citing security reasons India is also exploring its options. So here, this becomes very important because if we ban any technology, if we ban any foreign company, there will be a lot of international implications because under WTO, under WTO norms, we cannot do that. You know, we cannot ban anything. We, you know, our market should be a free player for all the global companies. So 
for in order to deal all of these things we have created this new and emerging strategic technologies in the foreign ministry division next juice jacking what is juice jacking so sbi has recently warned of juice jacking through its twitter handle juice jacking simply means normally we will charge our phones through the public through the public charging platforms in the railways or any other place in the public places they will be charging our phone using the usb cables that are available but there is a problem with this when you are using these things an attacker can use this can use the device or you can say it, an attacker can use the power points that are available and can jack your data they can juice your data they can take your data that is called juice jacking an attacker taking the data of your device when you are charging in the public uh, charging points this is called juice jacking so the sbi has advised its customers and the general public to think twice before plugging in their phone at the public charging stations as hackers can maliciously infect the phone, smartphone with a malware so that using that malware they can take your data directly that is the that is about the juice jacking next one hyperloop what is hyperloop so hyperloop was a news from lot of, from what some time hyperloop hyperloop is basically a pod like structure so there will be a tunnel where a vacuum will be there and this pod like structure it can travel in this pod in this tunnel with very high speeds matching that of an aeroplane matching that of an aeroplane so the hyperloop concept is designed by the company of elon musk elon musk is a us entrepreneur so he is the brain his, this hyperloop is his brain child okay so he wanted to create a transport system where pod like vehicles is propelled through a near vacuum tube connecting two cities and the traveling can be done very fast so the proposal to build pune mumbai hyperloop project there is a proposal for this and the current maharashtra government is against it because currently the hyperloop is not operational so still it is in testing phase so isliye the government is against it next one so recently qualcomm has released chips for navic support chips which support navic you know navic is the gps of india so it's a gps of india it's a positioning system of india so in this navic system we have three geostationary and four geosynchronous okay three geostationary and four so till now our mobile handsets they are able to support gps of uh, united states baidu of china so all these things but not the navic of india so now qualcomm has released the chipset where it will now these chipsets will support the navic system also okay so it will help accelerate the adoption of navic by smartphone original equipment manufacturers so the original equipment manufacturer can now release any new model for indian market which are navic enabled thus eventually making navic as a standard feature in the upcoming handsets applications and processors of india next one radar x so the drdo recently has launched this radar x what is radar x it is simply the new bomb detection device it's a bomb detection device radar x is a bomb detection device and it can detect up to 20 explosives from a stand up distance of up to 2 meters it can it's a bomb detection device so this will be very helpful for our bomb disposal squads okay so it is developed by high energy material research laboratory and arm of drdo and indian institute of sciences bangalore so these two institutes have combinedly as combinedly developed this radar x which is a bomb detection device remember radar x is a bomb detection device developed by drdo and iisc bangalore so the next one software technology park of india so recently in the current uh, you know covid pandemic the ministry of electronic information technology so they have decided to provide a rental waiver of 4 months for the it companies which are there in the software technology park of india so what is the software technology park of india this scheme was launched it's a society where it was launched in 1991 with the objective with the sole objective to export the software products from india so software technology park of india its governing council chairperson is the union minister of electronics and information technology it is mainly to boost the software exports from india so let's revise what we have studied till now we have seen first about the neon the artificial virtual human neon which is developed by star labs of samsung star labs of samsung has developed this virtual human neon next we have seen new and emerging strategic technologies this bench the or you can say this is a nodal point which is newly created in the foreign ministry division of india after that we have seen about juice jacking juice jacking is a process where without the knowledge of customers the hacker can you know hacker can take the data 
of a customer who is charging who has charged his phone at a public charging point after that we have seen about hyperloop and the current maharashtra government is again this hyperloop and we have seen the qualcomm releasing chipsets for navic so the chipsets which are released by qualcomm will now have support for navic next we have seen about radar x radar x is nothing but a bomb detection device developed by drdo and iisc bangalore after that we have seen about the stpa software technology park of india okay so that's it for this lecture i'll see you again in the next lecture till then keep studying and jai hind